Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and today we're going to play some American Truck Simulator. So we got up here in Guyman, Oklahoma. We just got loaded up with uh, some dry milk, 34,199 pounds of dried milk. We're going to take this to Clovis in New Mexico. 242 miles, four and a half hours to get there. We're in John. No, we're not. We are in the Pinga. 389 Peter built with a N14 Cummins in it and a 13 speed and this is John Haruda's reefer trailer the chrome one so uh yeah let's jump in and hit the road and see what happens I don't know why I'm at the lights are messed up on the visor um I don't think he put the spot over far enough for it so there's like a little gap there but anyway Let's jump in here and get going. We got a full tank of fuel. Get that off there. Yep. Alright, I don't see uh I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to do this. It's gonna be getting dark on us here soon. I could have planned it better for a daytime run, but it's only uh, for four hours and it's seven. We'll get there about 11 o'clock. Some of it will be daytime run. Nonetheless, it's run. Put money in our pocket. We're almost broke. So we need all the money we can get. Turn right. Let's see. Turn right. We gotta do a hard Turn left. left. Car coming there. Whoa, damn, Jeep scared the shit out of me. Dry mashed potatoes with uh, some rubbing alcohol. Maybe some flaming potatoes. I bet they'd probably burn. Don't up plant it in the world. Still using the JBX3 graphics. And we're using a Skynet's pre preset reshade settings. Turns out right, it's storming like Go a mofo outside, so might get a tornado or something come through. But we'll just say and play my truck simulator, it'll be all right. I got my seatbelt on. Bald on that truck. 
lights on, yeah, they're on. Dash lights wouldn't be on if they wouldn't. What on? Yeah, okay. One click past the parking lights. Chicken lights, whatever you want to call them. she say the goat straight Shifting, shift at the right RPM instead of revving it up. Burning unnecessary fuel. I've been playing a lot of uh, Bureau Truck Simulator. I just use automatic in that game. I can't shift to fucking 16 speeds. I've tried once. It's been a while back. I might give it another try to see if I can do it. They're just set up different. Daytime, nighttime, a lot of makes the times when the sun goes up and down like more realistic. It'd be working all right now. Ten twenty six. Take time.
tell before you get around me, bus. I'm not gonna be stuck behind your stuff ass. The turbo's messed up, it seems, from turbo sound. Barrier things turned off to X's because for some reason it made them, I don't know why, it made them big bright cubes. But they're like super bright and you can't see nothing but them when you get close to them. So hopefully you don't run into any invisible barriers, but that's always a chance. I've been known to do that a couple times.
lights ain't very bright, are they? This is a bad thing about using reshade. It makes everything a lot darker. Looks like uh, this is Amarillo by the old GPS. Amarillo. place to put a stoplight in it or come down that hill top that hill and see that thing at the last second never get stopped for it it'd be a oh shit it off now they'll actually look like they're colored yeah now it's better FedEx drivers do. Zero Fox giving all over the road, hold it to the floor.
Is this cut Donnie off, Dave? Thank you. FedEx at one point, but they only do teams, you know. <laughs> Not really a people person, you know what I mean? Uh, I tend to get pissed off at them because they're not doing their job like they should be. And then I tell them, then I get fired. <laughs> well, you know, I did do some team drive for about four or five months when I very first started just to get a little practice under my belt you know what it's like teach you the rules of the room Pretty cool. I like them. Old Frank. I'm not gonna say his last name, but Old Frank. He drove a Kenworth T2000. Got a big old Cummins ISX in it. The 13 speed. Don't ever really see how much of those T2000s out. Chuck, you put flames on it. I don't even know if he still has it now. It's been so long ago. He's the one that uh, wanted me to go drive for him. He's like, you can drive this truck. You drive really, really good. You can drive this truck and then I'll go down and get another truck and I'll drive it. But just, you know, it's like, yeah, uh, 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 my dumb ass turned down the lock. Stupid on my part. No, I didn't. Keep right. After fifty yards, turn right. So we've been like partners in the company basically. So. shit out of those slot machines in the truck stops. You get like truck stop points for buy shit in the truck stop. He bought me a cooler. Right. A little refrigerator. Got me a CB. Big chrome one. Pillow. Sheets for the bed. For the truck. That's all set up ready to go. I said, no, I drove nighttime. That's what I did. He drove during the daytime. And uh, when we changed, we'd always stop 
make it so when we're changing, we're at the truck stop, you know, so we can get fuel if we need to get fuel. You know, we can go have a piss or shit, get us something to drink, something to eat before we either start it or go to bed. And we just think he'll about an hour probably. And he'd sit in there and play those damn slot machines. I tried it and I lost 20 bucks. I was like, oh fuck, no. <laughs> Ain't happening. I got 243 miles, 6 hours and 10 minutes, 56,000 56, gallons of fuel, yeah, 56.7 gallons of fuel, $9,771, we're level uh, 39 and a half, 18 wheels of skill, almost 40, the big 4-0, so I hope you guys enjoyed, it's kind of a, I guess it's about normal length one, but yeah, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.